Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Like MRI, and this is a 51-year-old male who had a recent slip and fall injury, a shoulder pain, and we can see why in the front of the shoulder here that there is something going on that looks pretty significant. So, uh, looking back here, we see the posterior part of the rotator cuff. This is the teres minor muscle looks good, and the infraspinatus we're getting into here looks good. The supraspinatus tendon is right here. It did have some partial tearing in the anterior attachment, but the main finding here is the subscapularis tendon. So on this axial PD fat set view, we see the humeral head, we see the glenoid, we're going to go down and we're going to see the subscapularis, the muscles back here, and then as we go forward we see some edema, the deep muscle fibers are along the undersurface of it there. We see the muscular tendinous junction is back here retracted. We see the tendon coming across here and it looks like it ends about here. There's an ill-defined fluid filled gap so it looks like a full thickness tear of the subscapularis tendon superiorly. And the subscapularis tendon will attach in the lesser tuberosity. Some of the fibers, some limited fibers go over the top of the bicipital groove and they hold the biceps tendon into place. It's called the transverse ligament component. So when that transverse ligament is torn the biceps tendon can dislocate medially, as in this patient, and the subscapularis tendon is yanked out of the way. Now the biceps tendon can go right where the subscapularis tendon should be. So there's the biceps tendon. Here's where it comes off from the top of the anterior superior labrum there, labral anchor complex. And if we go forward, we see the biceps tendon right there. You can see that bright signal right in the middle of it, a little longitudinal intersubstance tear or tendinopathy. Looks a little attenuated here, but it's not ruptured. You can see how it's dislocated immediately. So these go together when you have a torn subscapularis tendon. The biceps tendon often will immediately dislocate like this. So remember to look for it, and that's it. Thank you very much.